uh, the platform that Akrejob gives us, sending us to mm -hmm. direct to the companies for the online rounds and the interviews. It's like if someone has missed their college placement, so they can just come to Akrejob, they can study from the mentor up to them. But the platform mm -hmm. that uh, Akrejob gives us, sitting for the placement, mm -hmm. sitting for the interview rounds, that is one of the key features of Akrejob. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Aprupa Padindi from Team Act Your Job and welcome to today's talk show. On today's show, we have a really interesting person with us and his name is Akhan Pratap. He has completed his B.Tech in Computer Science in 2021 from DIP University, Uttarakhand. He's right now placed in GE Healthcare. Welcome onto the show, Pratap. Thank you for introducing me. I hope you're doing fine. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. First of all, a uh, big congratulations to you on your placement. Uh, it's a really big thing, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, so can you let us know something about your background in detail? I belong from Lucknow. I've done my schooling in Lucknow here itself. Did my graduation from Dehradun, DIT University in Computer Science and Engineering. Then I took a six months break and mm -hmm. then I was looking for a placement. That's how I came across the Acu job. So you uh, like what was the means through which you find out about Accio job? Was it through any of your friends or online just like that? How was it? No, so uh, like I was searching for online, uh, I say mm -hmm. platforms that provide us the opportunity to sit in placements and that also trains us and guides us. So I searched for a couple of uh, platforms and uh, I chose Accio job because of the good reviews online and uh, because of the website and everything else about Acu job, right? Yeah. Right now you're placed in a very good company. So can you tell us about the placement process? Was it tiring or was it interesting? How was your experience in the placement process? Right. So uh, before uh, applying in G Healthcare, like that yeah. was the first company in which my resume got selected. So before that, uh, there's these different uh, mock scores, right? According to that, mm -hmm. we get sent into the next round. It's divided into three phases, uh, basic, mm -hmm. intermediate, and advanced mock scores. So in intermediate, I got like six out of 10 and I wasn't get, getting considered for placements, but I insisted on giving advanced mock score and I actually scored nine. And that's when uh, okay. I was considered for uh, like sending my resume to the companies and mm -hmm. then what happened this was my first company that i was uh, appearing for the interview and uh, there was this online test basically first in which they asked mm -hmm. two dsa questions and then there were technical rounds like two technical rounds one managerial round and one hr round so in the technical rounds basically we were asked about java oops dsa all that things mm -hmm. and I think the toughest round for me was the managerial round because they ask you like whatever you tell ab about yourself, they ask you a very detailed questions regarding that. Right. So after that managerial round, we had an HR round and I got the offer within one week. Yeah. So I think, you know, there are different number of mock tests. I think you went through it already. So yeah, do you yeah. think these mock tests are like helpful for the students in placements and interviews? So I think mock tests are the pillars for your interview, right? They are really, really helpful in getting you comfortable with uh, the interview process, how it goes and getting practiced up for the interview. And if you give a, a, like a lot of mock tests, so you are basically getting interview ready. If you are not yeah. solving that much problems as well, and you're giving so many mock interviews, it's really, really, really good for your like upcoming interview so i think mock tests are really important so earlier you said us that you had a gap in you know before after your education and wanting you know right. you were in a dilemma so do you think that has like affected in getting a placement or did that gap uh, at your job fill in that gap for you the thing that uh, i wanted to talk about is that uh, mm -hmm. We can develop the skills on our own by studying for six months, eight months, anything. But uh, the platform mm -hmm. that Accujob gives us, right, sending us to mm -hmm. direct to the companies for the online rounds and the interviews. It's like mm -hmm. if someone has missed their college placements, so if they're not from a tier one college, tier two college, tier three, if they're from tier three colleges. So they can just come to Accujob, they can study on their own or from the mentor up to them. 
but the platform mm-hmm. that uh, Akijao gives us for the placements, right? Sitting for the placements, mm-hmm. sitting for the interview rounds. That is one of the key features of Akijao, according to me. So I think there are many students who are aspiring to get into jobs and get good placements in right. Akijao. So uh, what's some advice you want to give them or a suggestion you want to give the students? Suggestion to them is like, they're all freshers basically, right? Or maybe they are trying to switch from a different role to a freshers role. So my suggestion suggestion would be like to study the basics of CS, like computer networks, mm-hmm. OOPS, DBMS, operating systems. And uh, after that, basically, uh, you should get familiar with one programming language, you know everything about mm-hmm. because a lot of companies, when you tell them you know this programming language, they they ask about uh, about the programming language like yeah. f- for example java they'll ask about the final keyword or maybe the static keyword the, the runtime polymorphism these things and yeah. after that you need to get mastered on dsa i would say mm-hmm. like dsa is one key feature that every company will ask they will definitely, definitely. ask 100 before I wind up, I have one last question for you. Is if you had to give one word or one sentence for Akio job, what would it be? Akio job is a ladder, right? There's a hole in the ground and it's the ladder yeah. basically to the finish line. So I could describe That's it like that. Really interesting way to put it up. Right. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming up and you know having this uh, Q and A session with us. And we really hope we have so much more in your future and all the very best for your future. Thank you so much for joining in. Yeah, thank you for taking the session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let us know in the comment section what you want to see next. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Act Your Job YouTube channel. We hope you have a really good day ahead.